the book of Luke chapter 9, verse 23. And it reads, And he said to them, This is our king, Yahweh Shai speaking. The book of Luke, family. It says, Luke 9, verse 23. It says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whatsoever will save, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his fathers and of the holy angels. The king is coming. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is coming in his glory. That's what he just told you. If you're trying to save yourself because you want to fit in, yes, you want to do everything that the world consider right. Because finally we know that the earth, Job 9.24, was given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked is Esau, the descendant of what? Esau, the Edomite. They are descendant of Esau, Jacob's brother. That's right, our brother. They are the one ruling right now. This is not our rulership. This is what the Lord is telling us. So he's telling you that if you're trying to, what, protect all your riches that you have here, when you had the opportunity, eh, eh, to mention the name of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and, and all what is coming for his elect, the kingdom of heaven, eh, because you're going to continue to live in this wicked world. The Lord said he's going to deny you. Hey family, first and foremost, before I bring this lesson out, let's give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. His name is Yahweh, our heavenly father. Yes, that's the only father that we know. And his only begotten son, the redeemer of Israel. His name is Yahweh Shai, who is coming in his glory. The one the world ignorantly called Jesus. No, he's not pale skin. He's not blue eyes. He's not blonde hair. No, he's the so-called black man. Because we know that the word black family, those are all bywords that were placed on us. We, the so-called Latinos, black, Native American, yeah, Caribbean, spread across the four corners of the, this world, we are the Hebrew Israelite. A quick clip that I came across on ESPN family, I was here just thinking, just thinking about what lesson to get into. You know, I've had some plan in my head, but... The spirit was not on me to bring it out. And then I came across this clip and family. The Lord said, this is it. So here we are. It's about six or seven minutes clip. And we're going to get into it. But before I bring it out, shall I warm to you, the hopeful elect. That's right. The apple of the Lord's eyes. A salutation to all the brothers out there pushing this word. Day in and day out. Yes. Feeding the flock. This is what the Lord said we should do. Eh? And again, double honors to the head apostle from the great millstone who taught me this truth. Yes. Family, let's get into it. The Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing non-profit educational or personal use tips the balance favor of fair use the, uh, the video that i'm about to play again i'm not making any money off it i'm not benefiting from it okay so family let's get into it 
and then we're going to bring the precept out. It's going to be quick. So I'm just going to be quick. Today from Adam Silver, I'm disappointed that he has not offered an unqualified apology and more specifically denounced the vile and harmful content contained in the film he chose to publicize. I will be meeting with Kyrie in person in the next week to discuss this situation. Drew, your response. Well, look, I will say this to Kyrie. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is your refusal to apologize worth giving up your NBA career? Because I fear, and I say fear because I really believe, regardless of whether you, how you feel about Kyrie's beliefs, I don't think anybody in this pluralistic society we have, where we're going to have differing views, competing views, and opposing views, that anyone should be suspended or fired for their beliefs as long as they're not promoting violence and, you know, against another group of people, which Kyrie isn't doing. So I hope this isn't the case, but I fear that his refusal to apologize could cost him his NBA career. Not this year. I think he'll play this year. But next year when he's a free agent, like I think, Nick, we agree. Kyrie would be essentially untradeable at this point. Oh, he was untradable this summer. Right. So I think when he's a free agent, if this – is the, if this is the atmosphere that it stays this way, he doesn't change his stance uh, and doesn't miraculously lead the Nets to the finals or whatever, then I think this could very well be the last season of his career, which obviously would be unfortunate. I'd hate to say it, see it. I hope that's not the case. But I say to Kyrie, look, no one's asking Kyrie to apologize for saying he believe his belief is that African Americans are the biblical Jews. Yeah. He's saying when I know who I am, he's saying he believes he's Semitic. Right. Okay. And that the so the offense is that what he's saying that what he is an Hebrew Israelite. That is his, his that's that is his crime, family. Pay attention. That is his crime. But family, like I always go, I go, I think I've said this many times. You can never do anything against this truth, but for the truth. Let's continue. Jews in America, the European ones are Europeans and not right. submit. That's what he's saying. That's his belief. That's fine. People aren't asking him to apologize for that. They're asking him to apologize for. He admits. He admitted he admits today. The there video, are falsehoods, there's falsehoods in the in book. The, in the, in the right. book and the movie. That's what people are asking you to apologize for. The you but he said won't yourself. Do it. There's falsehoods because people want and there him to, so he won't do to it. Jews. So that's all they're asking you to apologize for. So I would say <laughs> I would advise him to do that, so he can continue so, playing the game he loves. So can, I want to make Wilds one kind of macro point, mm -hmm. one micro point. The macro point is this: I've never understood. People that find it difficult to apologize. People that, like you hear about people arguing with their wives or spouses. And it's One thing you have to remember, family, these people here, they don't know, they have no clue about the Bible. It tells you, you open the Bible, family, it tells you that Shem had five patriarchs, okay? Anybody that came out of the loin of Shem is considered Shemite. The so-called more Chinese, the Moabites, they are also Shemite. And the Hebrew Israelites are Shemite. Yes, even Esau is a Shemite. Yes. What is the problem here? What is the problem here? But this is how the Lord wants it. Family, everything that is happening is by the will of our power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem. This is his movie. He's the one directing it. He's going to make their own tongue to fall on themselves, family. Just roughly paraphrasing. But the Lord told us. The Lord told us. He says what? Let's go to the book of John quickly. And then we'll, we'll, we'll hear what this guy had to say. Let's go to the book of John. First book of John, chapter 2. Let's pick it up from verse, verse 15. It says here. It says, love not the world. Eh? Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. They asking him to apologize. For what? For his belief? The Father, his what? He's an Israelite? 
we could have we could we could sit back and call ourselves African American, we can call ourselves niggas, we can call ourselves all type of name. But the moment that we come out and say we are the Hebrew Israelite, that's a problem. But we want them to prove to us that we are not. Somebody should grab the Bible and put it in front of these guys. Go through the Bible and tell me what Kyrie is saying is wrong. Nobody is bringing out the Bible. But it's okay though. This is the time that we are living in. Because the book says in the book of Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. It says in the land, roughly paraphrased, it says in the land where it was said that ye are not the children of the Mosa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's bring it up. I will go back to the video. Let's go to the Hosea one. Straight to the point, family. It says here, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Mm? And it shall come to pass that in the place, which place? America. Hey! Where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. It is coming. And they have to face the music. They have to face the music. But let's go back to the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. And the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. You listen to this? Your basketball, your, your, your football, your, your, all these sports, eh? all these guys that you're seeing, eh? And analyze you analyzing the game family. The Lord is about to wipe them off the face of the earth. This is what is coming. This will mean nothing. This is what the Lord is telling you. The Lord is about to destroy this place. Yes, Kyrie is a big celebrity. Yes, on this side, family. The Lord is using him. Yes, that's what the family. This is a man's going is of the Lord. How would a the man then understand his ways? Everything that Kyrie is doing right now and all this attention, it is the Lord. Because that prophecy has to, that prophecy is going to be fulfilled. It's already been fulfilled. People are realizing the lies that we've been told over the years. Eh? The lies. The fact that the book itself says what? The land of Israel shall be trotting down by the Gentiles until the time is fulfilled. Is anybody talking about that? The fact that the Lord says in the book of Isaiah 2, it is the Lord that is going to take us home. And he says the nation will flock to Jerusalem to learn our laws and the statutes and the commandments. Isaiah chapter 2. Is that happening right now in Israel? He says our street, the street, of Jerusalem is going to be paved with gold. And none of these nations will step a foot in there. Is that happening right now? Isn't Jerusalem, don't they have one of the biggest G-A-Y parade? Eh? At the land right now? The Holy Land. Don't they have that? Did the Lord said that when we go home, they will be having those kind of parade on the land? No, the Lord didn't say that. The Lord didn't say that. But the book says, Job, 5, Job 20 verse 5 says, Don't you know that the joy of the hypocrite is only for a moment? 
Let them enjoy themselves. Hey? You know, just dehumanizing him. That's okay. It says, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Hmm? The truth, the moment you start speaking the truth, family, you become enemy of the state. It's that simple. Let's hear what this guy has to say, family. It says, clearly, someone just wants to hear, I'm sorry. Right. And some people, like, stand on pride in, like, I won't apologize. I screwed up today with a dear friend at work. Made a joke I shouldn't have made. I apologized five times within ten seconds. He says, I was sorry. I felt badly. I also have screwed up at home. I didn't really think I screwed up. But I was like, I don't want to have this fight. I'm sorry. Like, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. Right. Kyrie it, it doesn't have, it would appear, anyone around him that says, all right, listen, once you've acknowledged that the movie had some stuff in it that you are disavowing, then there's not even a principled reason right. not to say, so I'm sorry for that. You know what I mean? And then he also, you can watch the whole thing. He does about three minutes about what he believes his heritage is and about how angry he is. And justifiably, I think, he feels anger that that is not taught in this country right. the way. And I'm not talking about who the true Jewish people are. I'm talking about Just black, black history, black his history right. and black experience. I understand all of that. But to me, he comes at it from such a combative place that it's hard to get to where we need to get to. Combative place. These are the words that they use, family. When we speak with passion, eh? You either they label you as what aggressive, you know, mad, you know, combative. All these nations, eh? All these nations, especially them, the small heart, they've been crying foul for many years, eh? The moment you open your mouth and say something against them, family. They vilified you, they put you on blast. The next thing you know, you're writing a check and apologizing. Those are one people that you can never criticize. Because why? The Lord gave them this earth. They are ruling. The Amalek. The Amalek is in charge. The small heart family. The grandson of Esau. That's right. You can't criticize them. But everything is going to make sense. Everything is going to come together for the glory of our power. Don't be discouraged, family. This is all part of the condition. We have to go through this. We know that we are tired, you know. We've been at the bottom of society. And nobody really cares about our plight. All these nations, everybody is doing well. They have a place to call their home. We don't have a place to call our home. We know the reason now. It is because the Lord gave us into the hand of these nations. But it's the same Lord that is about to gather all of us, his elect. Okay? And these nations are going to see it. We are the roles are about to be reversed, family. Trading places. We are about to trade places. With these devils. Yes. And they are going to see our glory. We're not going to take. We don't take matters. Of, all we're doing is bringing out the truth. Teaching the word of our power. The holy scriptures. And the holy word of our power. Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yes. You don't think the Lord know. That we are tired of this place. We can't wait for him to destroy this place. Day in and day out. That's what we call for. So he can establish a righteous kingdom. And for once, we're going to be the head and never the tail. For one, we're going to have our king in the midst of us. Yahweh Shai. That's what we want. That's why sometimes you sit by and say, why do the wicked prosper? Why do they always like, you know what? Nothing ever go wrong with them. They are the wicked and Kyrie now have to write a check. $500,000 he donated eh, to the, uh, you know what, to the small heart. For what? For saying the truth? That's 
Let's go to the book of Psalm 94, verse 16. Let's go to Psalm. Psalm 94, verse 16. The Lord is asking the question. It says here, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? The Lord is asking the question. Eh? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Eh? They have destroyed the entire world. Eh? They continue to prosper. They control everything. They have more money than the heart could wish for. You can't say anything bad about these people. Because all the platform, your entertainment platform family, they own it all. They control it all. Your institution, your universities, your hospitals, your laws, your they control it all. But you cannot criticize them. Man, we fell. We fell really hard, man. We really pissed off, excuse my language, pissed off our power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But we will, we will be, we will be uh, lifted up once again. Family, let's finish that this year. Let's and here's the other element, and this is why I think Brew might be right. Kyrie also needs to recognize he plays a team sport. And in team sports, there are different sacrifices people must make for the betterment of the team. And last year, he refused. Last year, the best thing for the Nets would have been for him to get vaccinated. I'm not trying to have a vaccination argument with anyone Everyone can agree, given the rules, fair or unfair, the best thing. He made a choice for what was best for him. The best thing for the Nets right now, as they try to get out of, on the court, this hell they're in, is to be able to turn the page on this. And he was given the opportunity, and he won't take it. And so because of that, Wilds, I don't think what Brew is saying is far off. That if, I, I've talked a lot about on the court, I think he's an overrated player when it comes to contributing to winning. He has another year where the team underachieves right. and you have this or whatever's next laying out there. I think it is going to be hard for a team to say they want to make any type of investment in Kyrie Irving. Yeah, so when we watched it today and we talked about it prior to going on air, I like, man, we are so far away from basketball right. in the conversation. I looked at the standings. It's, it goes, you know, Bucks, Cavs, and then Brooklyn far down. This big story out of Milwaukee – the undefeated Milwaukee Bucks, is that Giannis brought a cart full of sneakers <laughs> to practice and he was pulled. You see, nobody cares about plight. Listen to this garbage, family. Just shut up, basically shut up. Please, play, 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 just, just play ball, you know, just play ball. That's what you're here to do, you know. But anyhow, Let's go to the book of uh, John. John 15, verse 18. It says here, If the world, John 15, verse 18 says, If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you, because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Eh? Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sin, they will keep yours also. You hear that, family? That's the dilemma that we are in. And these are all part of the curses the Lord placed on us. You know, the Lord said we will go to them for all want. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 28. I think it's verse 48. It says, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, eh? all these nations, 
Okay. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. They control the NB. They control the the league. And look at look at I mean majority of the players are who are Jakes, right? They are Israelites. But who control it? Who's the head? Uh, who's the commissioner? Adam Silver, small heart, right? The Lord said, this this the curses that the Lord placed on us. This was not an easy curse, family. These are all because why? We could not keep the laws and the statutes and the commandments that He gave us to separate us from these nations. And not to follow their gods. But that's exactly what we did. And that's why we are in the predicament that we are in. That's why they can talk to us whichever way they want. As all these nations, they come to our communities. They put down, they put out businesses. And family, they do well. Because we have to, the door said, we have to go to them for what? All want. Let's repeat that again. It said, Deuteronomy 28 verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. Want of all things, family. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So the curse is the Lord placed on us. I saw to look at Kyrie Evan. Who dares you? Why, why? Just shut up and play basketball. You know? I told you to uh, speak to us like that. Yeah, family. So all the curses. Because what? Kyle need to feed his family at the end of the day. But the Lord is telling you, listen, man. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. They said the Lord, our Lord, the, the servant is not greater than the Lord. So if you open your mouth and say you're a Hebrew Israelite, prepare for what is coming after. They're going to prosecute you. They're going to come after you. But are you willing to put everything aside and say, listen, I'm going to stand for the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Eh? Because the Lord asked the question in the book of uh, uh, Psalm 94, 16. Who's going to stand for me? Who is going to stand for me against the evildoers? Who? The Lord is asking the question. You love your world. You love this world so much that, you know, the world that is about to pass away. We're just waiting for two prophecies. The Third World War and the CHIP. Implementation of it. That's it. And we are at this place. This world is about to pass away. Family, we're going to stand boldly for the Lord till death. Because the Lord told us, if you're trying to save your life on this end, you will lose it. We hate this life. We hate the moment the Lord opened our eyes. We hate everything in this place. Because we knew that something was wrong. There was no way. We knew something was wrong. You know, but you couldn't really put your hand on it. Because you asked yourself, why is it that we cannot come together? And then the Lord opened your eyes and said, Son, this is not your rest. Let's finish with that. So this is not your rest. Depart. It is polluted. It shall destroy you. He said, this is not your rest. I think it's Micah 2.10. Let's go. Let's go to Micah 2.10. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Micah 2.10, all praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushua. It says here, I rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. How is the place polluted? Oh, you don't have to look far. Eh? Everything in this society is contrary to the Bible. Eh? 
abomination lifestyle, the uh, the alphabet, the LB, LGBT, whatever family, and trans this, trans that, eh? corruption, thiefery, murdering family. This place is polluted. Let's read in the uh, NLT verse. It says, it says, up, be gone. This is no longer your land and home. For you have filled it with sin and ruined it completely. Eh? This is not your place. We have a home. The next world that is coming, that is our home. Eh? So remember, the joy of the hypocrite is only for a moment. Let's finish with that. Job 25. It says here. Noah's, it says here. Knowest, let's start from verse 4, it says, Knowest thou not this of old, since a man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphant, you see how they are prospering right now, they control everything, your banks, they own it, your Federal Reserve, they own it, they own everything, your entertainment hall, they own it. But listen to what the Lord is saying, verse 5, it says, that the triumphant of the wicked the wicked is in rulership. He's speaking about Esau and his descendants. Okay? It's short. It's very short. Eh? And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Yes, it appears that they've been ruling for a long time. But the Lord, you know what? A day of the Lord is what? A thousand years. Okay? So that's how the Lord sees it. It's only been what? Two, three days. Okay? We're on the third day. And the Lord is about to deliver us. You understand? This is what is coming. That's what the Lord says. It's, it's only for a moment. The triumphing of the wicked is only for a moment. Yeah. So let them continue to spew out their nonsense about they are the people of the book. No. We know. We have the truth now. It is okay. We have the truth. We have the truth. The Hawashai told us. The king himself told us. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. With that, family, I hope you're edified. And uh, let's continue to hold on to what we have, man. That our king is coming. Our king is going to make everything right. Yahweh Shah is going to make everything right. With that, I will say Shalom. May the Lord continue to keep you, eh? keep you, continue to protect you, especially the time that we are about to enter into. You know, stay prayed up fast if you can and call upon the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Family, we are back home. Oh, yeah, we are back home, man. We are back with our Father. Our oh, praises to our power, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahushai. Shalom, beloved.